G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. In a recent episode, you would have seen me swim this lure here. Brand new to Australian waters, never been tested, take it out offshore and try and put it through its paces. But unfortunately, this happened. Oh, fish on. Oh no, dropped him. There we go. Oh, bit off. There we go. Okay, lost fish. So today, I'm gonna to tie this 12 meter diver on and go out for revenge. I'm gonna try and stop some of the massive critters that were stealing my lures. Check it out. <laughs> Have a go there. Lures are in. Let's see if we can get even. There we go. We're on. Feels like good fish. Come on. Trying my very best to not take any prisoners this time. About to get a look at him. There's a bit of colour. There's a bit of colour. Ladies and gentlemen, first pass. We've got a hook up. I don't think he's a giant. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he's a giant, but he's still an absolute beauty. Time to get the net that's never ready. That is an absolute beauty. Come hither. Oh, that's a real good fish. That is a real good fish. Holy dooly. Wow. Well, that was good. All right, where's this line? Now, I've got this other rod still out. Let's keep trolling. We're obviously prime bite time, dawn. Let's, uh, whoa. Let's see if we can't capitalize. There's a few fish on the sound of there. I reckon it won't be too long before this rod gets folded. There's some good fish on the sander. That is an absolute belter. First pass belter. Oh, don't do that. Have 
a go at that. What a first fish of the morning. It's absolutely crunched it. Now, I will admit, I did come prepared today. I've upgraded the terminals to four times mustard jaw locks. I really wanted to pull hard and stop these fish getting home. And first pass, we have come through with the goods. <laughs> I wanted to test out this diver. I wanted to put it through its paces. And I reckon that is a pretty good indication that they work. Have a go at that. I've got to put this guy on the measure. That's a, that's a really solid fish. I'm very, very happy. This is the moment of truth. What do we call it? That's 79 centimeters. What a cracker. Now I'll grab this guy for a feed. Have a go at that. Even the four times trebles aren't immune. He's uh, he's given that one a touch up. How bloody good. Change that treble out. Get another one down. Well guys, that is pretty much the dream start I was hoping for, a 79 centimetre or 80 centimetre in between the two, 79 and a half we'll call it, first pass. Doesn't get any better than that. Now if I could just get maybe a, a 69 or a 65 as well just to round out that feed. And I also bought the trolling gear, might even try for a mackerel and try and get even with those mackerel from last time as well. This is like the full on revenge trip. Just. Had a bee in my bonnet about missing so many fish last time. It's time to get even. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf today, guys. I'm gonna get my net ready. Hope it doesn't jinx me. For the first time in a long time, I've got my net clicked in. Ready to rock and roll. After 40 minutes without a strike, it was time to move areas. And to be honest, I don't want to point any fingers, but I blame the net. After all that, it did bloody jinx me. Probably give it another 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and then um, bust out the trolling gear. We're just about to lose our bit of cloud cover. You'll see it up there. That's the only thing that's stopping us getting full blown sunlight from experience. Once that sun comes up, usually the snapper trolling is no longer for some reason. Catch them on plastics, just not on the troll. I'm sure they do on their day, but the uh, experience says it doesn't happen very often. Out. No! Good 
side at least. Nice hit. Just rigging up the trolling gear. That'd have been a nice one, that one. Would have liked to have seen him. It's all right. More fish on the sounder here. Unfortunately, it wasn't all right at all, as the rest of the dawn bite period passed by without another touch. And guess what? I did end up putting the trolling gear out, and I didn't fare much better with that either. Time to go home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we put in a day. We went from the best of starts with this guy to a very, very dry run after that. Well, that's okay, we got one for the table. But let's start fielding, and um, look, I might have to do another session, try and get even some more. Lovely fish though, absolute cracker. Well, that's the easy part. I'll run these inside, get them nice and cold, then come back and start hacking at the wings. I'm looking forward to eating this. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is very, very early. I'm out here pre-dawn. I've got the lures in already. I want to get a few more snapper. We got that one big one. I want some numbers. Or at least another big one. I don't mind. I just want to catch some more fish on those divers because this is awesome fun. I've been hooking some really good fish. I want to see if there's a few more kicking around. Fingers crossed. Oh no! Missed him! No! That was the hit! Missed the hooks! <sighs> Bugger! There we go! That is a good fish. We need to start getting him back up. Oh. It's a real nice fish. Well, we just missed a hit, and then this guy slammed it. Absolutely slammed it. That almost could have been a double hookup if they both stuck. He is a nice fish. Just 
trying to get him up away from the bottom there. I think he's coming there now. Oh, he's a nice fish. Get a bit of colour there. There's a bit of colour. Oh, it's got a broadside on him. It is a absolute cracker. Oh! oh. Big knobby snapper! Wowee! <gasps> Whoa! Just get this one. Where is it? Ah, oh, we're all good. Oh. It is a double hook up! Oh! I just put the boat back in gear. Oh. Um, smoked. Oh no. We've lost our lure. No. Oh. Yeah, that was a nice fish. Jeez, we're one from three. Just get this out of the way. Well, let's have a look at this guy. Jesus, a cranky one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the problem still remains hooking them small enough to land. Have a go at that cracker. That is another beast of a snapper. Lure in the corner of the mouth. Thanks for coming. We missed another one and then hook up and got absolutely smoked into the bottom. That is the problem. You do have to troll a fair way back. And as a result, they have the opportunity to get home. Really does even up the playing fields. But I'll tell you what, oh, birds having a blue. That is an epic fish and I'm getting some great, great quality. It's just landing them that's a problem. My goodness me, what a fish. How good. Big snappy. We'll measure that one a bit later, but I think we should get the lures back down. What a cracker. That'll be the one we keep for a feed. Yum, yum, yum. Again, that's why we're running the four times strong. These snapper are not playing around. Oh, a bit more damage there. Now I just brain spike this guy and bleed him quickly. He's got a fair bit of barrow trauma too coming up from the depths. And we'll chuck him on the measure when we get home. Well. Better get back down there. I know these dawn bites do not last long. So, best get a lure straight back into the zone. I'll rig up that other rod while we're trolling along. See if we can't capitalize. Down to me last two. Sad times. I'm almost out of lures. <laughs> Here we go. We're in the zone. Ah! 
There we go. Feels a bit more manageable this size. Just about to turn around. This feels like a bit of a smaller fish, which is good. I was actually hoping for a smaller fish sooner or later. One that'll let me keep my lure. Plus, I'm very sure that fish we got first up is over 70, so we can't get one over that anymore. Whether we land these next fish or not, I am convinced these new lures are absolute crackers. I have had nothing but slammings of them on them. Now, I am a big fan of the snapper on the troll. That's uh, never been up for dispute. I'll tell you what, I think I've got a new favourite. you do find yourself with the opportunity to grab a couple, I, uh, I think you will need to grab a couple. They, uh, they're a bit of an easy come, easy go lure. You're trolling them down in the gnarly stuff. Oh! Well, I'll be. Well. That does raise some questions. That does raise some questions indeed. Is all the fish that we've been hooking, have they all been snapper? Now what are you talking about, Sam? I hear you ask through the camera. This does not look very snapper-esque to me. In fact, that is a small GT. Snabbled the lure, and I'll tell you what, add another five or six kilos to that guy, and he's gonna give you an absolute hiding on snapper trolling gear. So, maybe we're hooking a bit of diversity down there, which is very, very interesting. Anyways, that's a cool bit of bycatch. Send him on his way. See you, mate. See him when he's 45 kilos. While we're waiting for another hookup, let's run the tape over this guy. 79 centimeters again. That's two 79s and two trips. I'd love to say he's gonna go 80, but he's just not. 79, back to back 79s. <laughs> Got a fish on the turn. It's a lot of weight there. I don't know what this is. Just slugging. Oh, I think it's big. 
Oh no, it's got a bit of fight. What have we got? Might be a side hooked fish. Come on, mate. Up you come. What a weight there. I reckon he's just doing big spins. There's a bit of, is there? There he is. I reckon he was side hooked and he just became side unhooked. Oh, beautiful eater. Beautiful eater. Beautiful eater. That's the size you want. Now, where are you, mister? Well, we got another one on the board, guys. This is hard work. Certainly don't need a jacket on anymore. Whew. That's snapper number two. Lovely eating size fish. For a change, a stoppable, I like to call it. Previously un. It's good to get one that we can uh, we can look at. All right, let's have a look at this fish. That's what we'd love to call a good eating size school size fish that one absolutely beautiful still doesn't matter the size they'll still make short work of a treble and just remember guys those are four times trebles they're for like black bass and all that sort of stuff so these fish are not playing around they're just hard fighters with tough mouths i tell you what they are great sport fish unfortunately that last fish was the last snapper action i saw Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pivot. That sun's up now, and uh, historically, I haven't done very well once the sun gets up. So, very much a dawn and a dusk bite. So, I'm going to put these away, chuck some lures out for a couple of hours, and then we've got a big subtly change coming through. So, I feel like the job is done. We're going for bonuses now. If we get one, you beauty. If we don't, no worries. We'll have ourselves an early mark. Gonna fish. I don't have a um. Don't have a skirt. So we're gonna fish a stick bait on the on the surface. And two divers. See if we can't get a bite. All right, let's get up to cruising altitude. See how we go. 
So off I went with some fast toothy pelagics well and truly in my crosshairs. Had a bit of a hit. Whew. Got a bit of go too. Bit of head shake action. Feels like a nice fish actually. That was on the sticky. How long that had been on? I uh, you can't really hear this drag much. Geez, there's a lot of line out. Hopefully, it's not a tuna. up on the surface it's getting close well there he is I hope I hasn't been sharked. Kind of looks like it has. Oh no. one of those notorious fake snapper <laughs> well, that's pretty cool well I can't say I was expecting that I thought we were on for a Mac tuna or a, uh, a Spano or even a very early Wahoo which, you know, there would have been no complaints at all about, but <laughs> have a go at this. That's Trevally number two for the morning. Probably should be casting or popping or something, but I'm having fun. Feel like the job's already done. These are just bonus fish. Giant Trevally. Now that is the old parakeet mustard otto. And if you guys have watched the uh, Swains episodes, you'd know that that one got absolutely slammed. <laughs> Funny enough, by GTs. <laughs> See you later, friend. There he goes. Well, there's one fish on the troll. I trolled around for another hour or so, hoping for some more action. But the only thing I found was this. Now guys, no more action on the troll, but what I did come across is a big school of fish on the surface. And I reckon that I thought it was a school of tuna, 
but I've just driven over them and I reckon it's a big, big school of kingfish all feeding on the surface. So, rigged up a sticky. I'm just gonna stealth on over to them and see if I can't get a lure in there. And uh, if I can, it, it might be game on. They certainly didn't eat the trolled lures. I'll put the whole school down, which is what made me think maybe they're kingfish. And they, they look different, they're feeding different. Might even be spawning or something like that, but we're gonna see if we can sneak up to them and um, have a little crack at the title. Just check the old drag. Yeah, it'll do. Let's see. they are having a spawn, there's a fair chance they won't eat. Well, they did not want a single bar of it. Not even a taste. Not even a tickle. Not even a follow. Well, I think it's time to give ourselves an early mark. All the gear's in. No point putting it back out, I don't reckon. We've done very well. Two snapper, one trevally, or two trevally. And um, can you claim a look at some kingfish? Look, I'm 90% sure they were kingies. They didn't want a bar of anything, but I'm pretty sure they were. We'll never know for sure, but I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah. I think we'll call that a sneaky little win of a morning and we're giving ourselves an early mark to get out of here before the weather changes. Can't ask for more than that. Well team, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Just remember, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by heading to my website, sammyhitskyfishing.com and grabbing yourself some merch. Heaps of stuff available there. Plenty of awesome gifts with the festive season coming up. So see if there's anything that tickles your fancy. Guys, hope you're all safe and well. Hope you're catching a few fish. I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Hitsky Fishing Adventure. Cheers. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf today, guys. I'm gonna get my net ready. Hope it doesn't jinx me. For the first time in a long time, I've got my net clicked in, ready to rock and roll.